I'm going to speak about something which is not funny at all. It's really serious. And it's something which is really personal for me. So I'm doing my best to play a character who is not terrified and emotional at the moment. But if I am, please bear with me. Uh, this is a story how I was a dangerous player. I have been organizing LRP for tw over 20 years, and I thought I knew my limits and I know how I behave and how I act. I knew what I can do and what not. But last year I learned something new about myself and I didn't like it at all. Uh, I have been responsible of safety and I have been the super person of, at LARPs and I should have known better. Seriously, I should have known better. My, my failure, my mistake. Some of you were there, some of you have seen the scene. Uh, some people gave me compliments after the scene. That was awesome. And I said, no, it was not. I broke the rules. Uh, I made a mistake when there was really intense scene going on. And we were escalating the situation. And at one moment, I wasn't playing anymore, but I reacted. And because of my mistake to follow the rules, follow the escalation rules, I put two people in real life physical danger. There was real risk for serious injuries, nothing minor. There was, there was risk that something really bad could have happened. We are happy that nothing bad happened, but there was high risk for that. Uh, I got too physical, uh, too fast, without warning. I broke the rules. It's simple as that. I broke the rules. I got really scared. People involved got really scared about the situation. We all knew that there was really serious risk, that something worse could have happened. And now I'm going to tell you what I learned about it and what I have been thinking about this situation which happened in January 2020, so a bit over a year and a half ago. Uh, the situation was handled in-game, and after the situation was handled in-game, I went to find the people in question. On purpose, I'm using the word vic victims, because basically they were my physical victims of my actions. I wanted to apologize them. I wanted to see that everything is okay, that they are doing fine, that I did not harm them. Uh, I apologized. I, I spoke with the organizers, and at that point, I broke down. I was in shock what I had done, what I had been able to do, and I hadn't realized what I was doing. I was in shock and really embarrassed and ashamed of my own actions. Me, I have been alive for 20 years. I should, I should do better. There was really raw, uh, strong uh, self-blame, and in general, I was, I was really feeling the worst person on earth at that moment. Once the game was over and people were having really fun uh, and sharing their experiences, I didn't want to be there because I felt that I have failed everyone at the location. I didn't want to go to after party because I, okay, that's the person who stepped over the line. That's the person who made the mistake. I didn't want to be there to ruin the mood. Uh, I didn't want to speak to the safety people or the organizers because I was the issue. I was the problem. I was a trouble. So I don't want to burden these people anymore. I have been trouble enough. I, in general, felt really, really alone. I spoke about at the scene, but I was really um, more alone emotionally. I, I didn't know anyone who had had a situation like this and spoken aloud about their own mistake. Uh, following days and weeks from the game, uh, I spoke with a few friends about it. Some people say that it wasn't that serious, but uh, yes, it was. It was serious. Don't downgrade it. I broke the rules and it was serious. Uh, I s wrote something on my Facebook wall that I made a mistake and I'm really feeling really bad about it. And I didn't go into details because there's no need to go into details. The detail is that the fact is that I broke the rules. That's the fact. Um, I wanted to apologize to people, my victims, again. I wanted to contact them and say, hey, are you okay? 
But at the same time, I did understand that that need wasn't coming to support them because I, there wasn't anything I could do for them anymore. I had said I'm sorry, and if they wanted to reach me, they could do that. It was my need to contact them and see that they are okay, and I wanted to, you know, make sure that they don't hate me. Well, I hated myself really badly at that point, and I just wanted to know that they don't, people don't hate me because because I'm I'm a really nice person. I'm the person who's taking care of others. I became worried that these people see me only as my failure and as that person who broke the rules, and they don't know who I am, the person behind that mistake, who is actually a really nice person, I think. I think most people think that. Uh, still, I didn't want to burden the organizers because I was the problem. Uh, I also question all my past actions. Am I safe co to anyone? Should I be LARPing? Uh, have I accidentally done something like this before and not realized it? Uh, there were a lot of questions in my mind and going through my head. And one thing I decided early on that I don't want to go mentally to the stat date where I was in when the mistake happened. I don't want to be there. I am not going to play uh, violence or rage as a theme. I don't want to get there where I was when the mistake happened. That was the, one of the first decisions I made. Then I was thinking that I heard these stories. We all have. Yeah, there was just this one person who I heard that they once did this and that, and they caused a dangerous situation at LARP. And I was thinking that, would I be become that story? Would I become that person who there's rumors going around that, ah, yeah, that was crazy. I'm not going to take that person ever to my LARPs again. And if yes, I would, I would totally understand it. I broke the rules. Now, it's been a year and a half. When I was writing these slides and my speech, I still see flashes of that moment when I made the mistake. I will carry that mistake with me always. I will remember that mistake. And I know why I made that mistake, what led to that. I know what was in my own actions and what happened in my mind. And I know where I was. I know that at this point, I'm not going to play bridge or violence. Perhaps someday I may do it again with someone who I personally know, to whom I can say that I have had this past issue and I would like to try this theme again, but I want to be, do it safely with someone with whom I can openly discuss about it. I am slowly forgiving myself my mistake. I'm still really, really sorry about it. Uh, I reason I'm here is this, I'm speaking to you about it because what I understood was we don't speak a lot about mistakes like this. This isn't a nice story. There's anything funny about this. There's anything funny about this. We have become really good about talking about our funny mistakes and sharing our silly things. Oh, that happened once. Don't do that ever again. This is not that kind of story. So that's why I want to speak about it, because we should speak about this more. And for that, uh, we have spoken a lot how to support victims, uh, confront ha harassment, for example, or, or something which is done on somewhat purpose to harm someone else. But honest mistakes happen also. Good people make mistakes, and we don't speak enough about that when it's not a funny story. I know that I'm not the only warper in the world who has broken the rules. So with that, I challenge all of you. If you have some personal case like this, I would like you to share your not so funny mistake with someone and tell them what you have learned about your mistake. So perhaps with this, we can learn something also about LARPing and role-playing and also situations where experienced players can end up to. I have like 200 LARPs behind me. I have organized over 40 LARPs. I should have known better. And still, I made a serious mistake. And I broke the rules. So, let's not hide the fact that we are human. We make mistakes. And it's okay to make mistakes. 
but let's do our best that we will also learn from those and share those. And we know that we are not alone with our mistakes. And with that, I say thank you and I'm still sorry.